Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are. It's beautiful world, and if you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For newcomers, my name is Didi. Uh, I'm walking here on this beautiful bridge in Lagos, Portugal, to the beach, Maya Praia. Um, talking about Bitcoin, blockchain, and life. Uh, walking towards a place where probably a bar will open soon. It's not going to be Bam Bam, to be clear, but. It's going to be the Bam Bam Mish because I'm going to be there a lot of times and I think there will even be a small contribution to Bam Bam Beach like in a sign or something. I probably can also pay with Bitcoin over there but I can't say too much yet about it but the loco location will be on the end of this bridge and now I'm going to uh, view, I'm going to show you this beautiful uh, sunrise guys over there. Bam! Check this. How beautiful do you want to get it in the morning? beach is completely empty so I will be completely by myself walking this beach and the bar will probably open in May on the location where you now see those uh, beautiful stacks of wood because that is going to be the foundation of the bar I will disclose soon more and more but that will be the place to be if you have some bitcoins in Portugal to have a drink now, um, my face turned completely dark because I'm filming against the uh, sun, so I need to turn around this corner so you can enjoy a face in the light again. <laughs> Bitcoin holding very strong again, 30k. Uh, what a beautiful base are we creating. Do you remember? We spent almost 20 days at the base of uh, 28k, building it and going sideways. We are now seeing the start of the same happening on the 4 hour chart and um, at uh, 30k. So we went down below it, but we went up it again, above it again. We are around like 30,200 ish now at the moment. Very strong moves of Bitcoin. People still uh, calling for uh, huge bearish movements, huge falls to 20k and to 16k to create double bottom. Um, I don't know, in my opinion, if I look at the charts and I do my TA, we already had that bottom, we already retested the bottom, we are going up. Yes, there will always be a pullback. Compared to the move in uh, 2019, we went from 3k all the way up to 19k and then we fell back to 4 5k again. This could be the same move, but then not from 3k, so it could be a move to 35 maybe even 40k and yes we could then pull back to 25 to 30k that's all possible in bitcoin and then of course that is all just accumulation time because we all know towards the halving bitcoin is going to go up yes we have now the beach and yes i know you're not used to it uh, but i'm wearing a jacket it's uh, it's pretty cool i call i mean in the morning it's really cold in the morning uh, and in the evenings also 17 degrees, 15 degrees, something like that. During the day it's okay, 25, you can be on the beach, you can wear your shorts. I'm wearing shorts and, and flip-flops by the way. And can I show you that? Can I show the proof? Proof. Proof of work. There. Flip-flops. You see? Shorts and flip-flops. So it's not it's not like freezing cold. But for me it kind of is. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a warm person so I need to have the sun. Um, so that's pretty nice at Bitcoin guys. Uh, we are working towards the end of April now. So it's exactly almost a year from the halving. Because the halving will be in March, April uh, 2024. And uh, from that moment on we will have again an explosive move in the bull market. So from my, from my perspective, in my perspective we will be going sideways. But now maybe easily going up to 40k stepwise, sideways up, sideways up, 40k, touch it, maybe come down again. And again, you can make profits on all these trades. If you want to trade all of this, uh, please use the links down below the video. I prefer Bybit because it's the coolest exchange out there. It has the biggest bonuses and most of the earnings Bybit has goes back to the community uh, in bonuses in gamification in many other ways so buy it out there is the best exchange i think at the moment you get up to thirty thousand us dollar uh, bonus for depositing some bitcoins over there just thirty dollar for signing up using my link 
And if you click the link, you will go to my personal uh, referral page where you can see exactly what bonuses you get because you joined through my link. Now, Ethereum holding also very strong. I don't talk about Ethereum very uh, lot, a lot, but at the moment, Ethereum, guys, is doing well because Ethereum is around 1920. This means the moment Bitcoin will settle down above 30k, a lot of alts will come up as well. And that is what you, uh, a lot of you are waiting for. I think the water is ice cold. I think it's ice cold. It looks even freezing. <laughs> I can see frost on the water. <laughs> it's not that cold, but uh, I know it's cold. I will freeze my balls off, man. It's like never children again. That's for sure if you touch this water now. Even in the summer, it's like 18, 19 degrees. I think now, 15, 40 degrees. Really, it's like the opposite of Thailand where it's 30 degrees. This is like cold. This is like, this is Wim Hof. So maybe it's good for me to do this every morning. Just go walk the beach, jump into the cold water, do the Wim Hof breathing technique, bam! Now, um, about the rest, um, I'm just gonna uh, not zoom in too much on Bitcoin, because if you look at the four hour chart, you can see exactly what we do. Um, if you have the bam bam indicator, it's a little bit more easy to see what is happening uh, in the next couple of days, because you can see where we are. In the Bollinger Band, you can see where the bam bam line is at what level and everything. I don't have the chart with me, so I just wanted to do a walk and talk this morning. Sorry for that. Uh, I want to update you on the family plans. We are in Europe now. Um, yes, I'm not going to open the Bam Bam Beach because we have a license issue. They don't want us to open the Bam Bam Beach. Uh, so I'm not going to fight it. I don't want to fight it. I just want to enjoy my life. I wanted to give a beautiful contribution to Portugal, creating the Bam Bam Beach and a Bitcoin bar on the beach because I think it's very beautiful for uh, the Portuguese um, tourism as well, you know, but you know, they're fighting it against it and then I don't do it. But there is another bar that I'm going to chill and the whole Bitcoin community is probably going to chill. Uh, and again, I just showed you the location. I'm going to tell you more about that later. Uh, and we will collectively make a beautiful summer over there. As more and more people arriving in Portugal, they're staying for the longer term. Um, they got affected, I think, by Bandon Beach last year and by uh, our family, how we are living here. And it's becoming a small Dutch community here with families and friends, uh, so I think it will be an awesome summer. Now, um, the family plans for the rest, guys, I don't know yet. Uh, we, we will stay till the end of April in Portugal. We do need to go uh, to Spain in May for one or two weeks because we have the birthday of my father-in-law, Claudio, coming up. Um, he's turning 80. <laughs> so he's watching the video. He's not getting 80. <laughs> He has a big uh, party and we get Thai buffet, so we will go there uh, because I love the Thai food, you know. And um, from that moment, uh, we don't know yet. Maybe you want to hang around in Spain a little bit more, Marbella. Uh, maybe visit Madalon Vos because she lives now somewhere in that area there. Uh, she texted me, ah, come and have some uh, snacks, or have some dinner and fun and chats over there. So let's see, we, we don't know. We keep it open and maybe we just go back to Portugal and stay here for all summer because the kids have some friends over here and, you know, I can do my thing. Um, then the 1st of July, we will definitely go to the Netherlands uh, to spend two weeks over there. That also has to do with our documentary because the documentary, uh, the first reel, trailer, whatever you call it, has been sent now to the official, um, I can't still, not really announce, but you know, it's one of the biggest ones of the world. So it would be, for example, Amazon Prime, or for example, Netflix, or for example, well, that's the only two big ones, <laughs> one of those two. Uh, and they were really, really enthusiastic about it. The meeting about that is tomorrow, I think on Friday something, and then we will hear uh, when exactly the release at Tether is gonna be. The, the, the trailer was already really cool. So that's why we will be in the Netherlands. And from the Netherlands, um, my daughters, they will fly to Greece. I booked them a holiday, the two oldest ones, to Hasonisos. So they will be there for a couple of weeks partying, drinking, and doing all the stuff that most parents probably won't, don't want their children to do. But I'm happy to see them doing that stuff because they also need to spread their wings and learn to fly. You know, because they are turning 18, my oldest one, and the second one 16. So, you know, it, uh, time flew by the last seven years of traveling all over the world, guys. Seven years. Uh, we started in Bangkok in a tuk tuk, uh, which was amazing. And now we ended Bangkok also in a tuk tuk again. <laughs> tuk tuk. I will uh, show you the videos uh, of the start and of the end so you can compare 
how big the difference is. You know, starting when you're 11 and now turning 18 for my oldest daughter, that's seven years of living completely different than most children have lived. And I think a lot of people would say it could be bad and a lot of people would could say, oh, it is also good. You know, we don't really care what other people say. We think it's the best way for um, our children to grow up. And if you think different, that's all right. You know, everyone needs to, you know, do it in their way. And we just don't want them to be part of a certain system that we don't support anymore. And we all know what system I'm talking about. And we do know that the schools are turning our kids into little monsters that can memorize books while they wear a face mask and they accept naked women or guys I don't know what to describe them or hishish or himish or it's to walk around in the classroom and show off that that should be probably normally uh, to have a dick as a girl or have tits as a boy and all that stuff you know we came from Thailand and in Thailand that is normal you don't need to show up it is just accepted there is uh, lady boys and everything you know and they just they even are uh, known for it it's lady boys wow cool and they like it and when you say hey lady boy you know that's just normal but here the Western society and the schools the whole schooling system wants to create something of the kids that we don't want to see our kids turning into we want our kids to turn into what they feel they need to turn into. And that is why we didn't educate them the last seven years. We let them live life and there's a school of life. And you know, wow, we are almost at Bam Bam Beach. We'll keep talking a little bit more and then you will see Bam Bam Beach over there. Um, while I'm pausing, do click the links down below. Do get your referral fee for buy it, guys. Uh, that is the only earnings we as a family have for all the work that we are doing in YouTube. So yes, we earn some affiliate fees over there, and which doesn't need to be a secret. And I don't think it even is bad because you know that we use those fees uh, to create even more content and that we give away a lot of the fees as well to charity and all the stuff. Uh, we haven't done anything in Thailand this year. Um, <clears throat> Thailand, I really needed also to focus on myself, to get a little bit more healthy. That's why I started training again um, and doing a lot of other stuff, guys. Like intermediate fasting and all the stuff because I really needed to lose 10 kilos I lost six kilos uh, first six kilos but I need to lose another 10 kilos now <laughs> I want to make the gold even better I want to leave more lose more than 10 kilo and um, I think the best is leaving alcohol away but it's just for me too much fun to leave it away so alcohol I um, will do one or two days uh, two times a week and the rest I will just uh, need to focus more on training and other healthy lifestyles you know so um, that is also what we do eh? by living the life that we are living we're giving the kids an example how they should live you know you saw Juna was training with me daily there like and she was really enjoying the Muay Thai lessons and she is also asking where do we do Muay Thai here so you found this uh, school over here last year already it's a school where Conor McGregor always trained I think it was his private school so we're gonna check uh, Conor McGregor's school and if we can <laughs> learn some more skills over there uh, in Muay Thai because it really is a fun sport and it keeps me fit. Almost at Bam Bam Beach, guys, check. Still the beautiful sun coming up and Bam Bam Beach is over there. Yeah, and I can tell you one thing. Look, even here, everything is ready. The whole Maya Praia has this wooden connection bridge now. I don't know if you remember the story last year that they destroyed our bridge in the middle of high season. And, uh, all of the bridges have been built new along all the beach except one <laughs> you can guess which one is not built new uh, it is the beach uh, the bridge at bam bam beach and why not i do think they do it with a reason i do think they really don't like uh, what we did there last year it was maybe too early for a beach bar like bam bam to exist and to show people the new ways of payments and i don't think uh, Portugal is completely ready for that way of accepting Bitcoin as a legal tender. Um, do I have anything else to say? Yeah, I will keep talking because we want, I want to see the bar, how it looks now. And then we will walk back on the new bridge home again. Because I'm living on the beach here, at the beach, on the beach, not at the beach. I need to walk like five minutes, so it's not on the beach. 
Um, the rest, guys. Then um, after my kids return from Greece, it will be the moment for us to decide what to do. Um, my heart, my dreams, my future um, probably is Asia. That's what I like most. And Asia just gives me a lot of quality of life for not too much money. Just like Portugal, that's why we are in Portugal and Europe as well. I just don't like to spend too much money on things that you don't need to spend too much money on. Why would I spend three or four euros for a cup of coffee in Europe, in the Netherlands, while I can spend 50 cents here in Portugal in the sun, you know? So that's how we decide always where we want to live, for example. And social context and everything, you need to build it yourself. And that's what we do. We have a huge social group here of friends in Portugal and also in Thailand um, so at the end of the summer yeah it could be that we go back to Thailand again we do want to go to South America a good friend of mine there has in Costa Rica a beautiful resort his name is Dan and I'm, uh, I promised him to visit him and I do want to visit him I, I, I just really looking forward to see Costa Rica and then from that moment on Maybe work to Thailand. We don't know, you know, we can't even, you can't even decide yet because we don't even know where the world is going to. If there will be a new fucking pandemic or something or fungus that is taking over the world. Or aliens, maybe it's aliens, you know, you don't know. The only thing we know is that we want to stay calm because we are moving towards um, the Bitcoin halving, guys. And that's uh, 2014, uh, 2024 April. And from that moment, we will go in a huge bull market again. And during that period, I need to stay focused. I don't want to be traveling during that period. I want to be in one certain place so I can focus on guiding you guys also to when to exit the market into stable coins, when to enter back again into Bitcoin. Because these cycles only happen like once every four years. And during those cycles, you need to multiply your capital by doing what we have been doing. And last cycle, I should have been better in guiding uh, people, I think. Maybe I was too focused on other stuff, documentaries and all the stuff. So this cycle, I'm gonna guide more and more people. Um, the people that will be guided best are the Bitcoin family VIPs. And the Bitcoin family VIPs can become VIPs by buying the family token. If you own a certain amount of family tokens, you will get access to uh, the VIP area where also my list of alts is that I bought and everything else. That alt list is uh, by the way very important because because of the pullback in Ethereum you can still buy a lot of alts at the same price that I bought them and I do think that that whole list will go easily times 10. So 100k to a million or 10k to 100k. So you need to buy family tokens. I think in total it's 50,000 family tokens and I think 50,000 family tokens at the moment is something around thousand dollar. So you don't even need to pay me you just need to hold those tokens in your wallet and you get access to that uh, VIP area. Um, I will put the links how to get access down below here. Where you will find a lot of the information on the bitcoinfamily.com. And for all those people that want to have one more time the view of Bam Bam Beach. It's over there. Bam Bam Beach. I want to go back today or tomorrow and probably rip off my banners if I'm not allowed to open here. The flags didn't survive the winter, like you can see. They look pretty sad. The Bitcoin flag is even broken. Uh, the Batman Beach also. But these banners, I will get them off, guys. And then uh, take them to a other beautiful place where we can build back better. <laughs> build back better. Do you know, remember that one? We're going to build back better. Yes. After you destroy the world, <laughs> it's not that difficult to build back better. If I could do that with my business, it would be really cool, like, without having any cost. Oh, let's just destroy the business completely to zero and build back better. That is the way uh, we should do it. And then we just print a shitload of fake money so that we can build back better. But the rest of the people, they get fucking poor. And by inflation, their lives becomes unbearable. So that's what they're doing. Like, that's what you know that they're doing. And they will keep doing it as long you keep supporting them. And how do you support them? by keeping your money in bank accounts. As long you use their currency, they will be in control. As long you use their currency, they will keep suppressing you and forcing you into stuff that you really don't want to do. And that is my last message, I think, which is a very important one for you guys. 
because morning to <coughs> some people that don't have a good morning <coughs> because guys it is very important to understand that as long that you support those centralized organizations in doing what they do they will keep happily doing what they do the moment you take the money from them out of their system out of the banks you will see that the banks will collapse the central banks will not have the trust anymore of the people and people humanity will be going searching for new alternative ways of living and using uh, uh, money and that one of those ways will be bitcoin or maybe another way will be gold but it will definitely be ways and assets that can't be printed by governments or central banks anymore because we are going towards a decentralized future a better future for our children that will not be influenced by centralized organization anymore because the people are sick of them treating us and creating a system that we don't want to live in anymore that is existing out of war hate and all that stuff i think the people are now uh, ready for a system that is about love and together and decentralized decision making and DAOs and all that stuff if you want to read more about that i just posted the blog on the bitcoinfamily.com also on yodofamilytravel.com about that how i think that bitcoin and blockchain can be the tools to create peaceful anarchy which sounds maybe aggressive but it isn't that's why it's called peaceful anarchy but it's a system of living where people decide for themselves and where centralized entities not are above us anymore you know they don't rule us yeah just take a look at that now that was everything for today i hope you really enjoyed this video if you did enjoy the video give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment thanks for watching see you tomorrow again and don't forget to sign up to buy pit bam